Hi everybody, I'm Mitch with The Geek Group. I've got Katie over here. Hi. And we're gonna be kind of giving a basic intro to uh, MIG welding. Um, basically, MIG welding, uh, MIG stands for Metal Inert Gas. Uh, it's a welding process commonly used in industry, um, generally used for thinner metal. So uh, stick welding is a common technique used for uh, welding thicker metal. Uh, MIG is used for thinner metal. Basically, a uh, concept is you've got a spool of wire, which is the metal and the metal inert gas. You've got a tank of inert gas, uh, in this case, argon. And you have a weld gun. Basically, a MIG welder is like a big hot glue gun with metal. Uh, when you pull the trigger, you release inert gas out the tip. You apply a current to the wire and you also dispense some wire. This mechanism in here dispenses the wire. So you can see when I pull the trigger, there's a small wheel that turns and that forces the wire through the cable to the end of the gun. So we're gonna get to work, start doing some welding. All right, so we're fabricating a welding table. Um, this is gonna be the base, well, half of the base to the welding table. Uh, we're just in the process of welding the legs, base or the leg frames together. And uh, we're basically going to be doing a spot weld and then a long bead to hold the stretchers onto the legs themselves. Um, basic intro to MIG welding, Katie, is uh, you want to have your gun as close as you can okay. to the weld, you know, basically like an eighth or a quarter of an inch gap on all sides. Okay. And you want to do basically a stitch like you're sewing back and forth, one eighth inch on either side of the gap that you're trying to weld across. Um, if you're getting a tall bead, you want to speed up, and if you're getting a sunken bead, you want to slow down. Um, feed rate and everything is always adjustable on the, the equipment, but it's pretty easy to figure out what way you need to go once you get welding. The reason we're doing some tack welds on this is when you weld apart, when you heat things up, they expand, and when they cool down, they contract. Mm -hmm. If you don't use tack welds, things tend to get all distorted. And if you use a tack weld, it'll basically hold it flat. It'll be a cool weld while you're welding the rest of the assembly. So you don't have a hot weld along the entire length. Uh, that'll be more likely to expand and contract. <laughs> As All right, so that's a big spot weld tack weld just to hold it together okay. and then we're going to follow it with a long bead across the entirety of that angle. Okay. Eyes. See the red through here. That's cool. Yep. An important thing to note when you're MIG welding is to look for some sign of uh, heat on the inside of the metal or the opposite side of the metal you're welding. That indicates that you're getting penetration of the metal uh, with the heat. If you if it looks the same as it did before you welded, you're probably not hot enough, which means you'll have a really weak weld. Uh, if you are burning through the metal, you're too hot. And obviously, if you're kind of flush like that, you're relatively good. All right, um, another important thing to note when you're welding is to use a grinder to clean up the surfaces that you're welding to. Uh, that basically just removes any oxidization. Uh, this is uh, just hot rolled steel, so it's got a lot of uh, oxidization on the exterior. Same with this steel here. Uh, mm -hmm. If you grind it, you've got bare metal. It'll be a, help get you a good weld. Uh, okay. The other thing that's important to do is to use jigs uh, to square things up when and where possible. So we've got two pieces of angle here that are clamped to our bench. Those are just gonna help keep everything square so that we don't have to worry about manually clamping every piece individually. We can just basically put them up against these rests and we know that they'll be pretty close to square. So that kind of keeps life simple. Uh, for welding, it's important to wear proper protective equipment. You'll notice that I'm wearing leather sleeves. 
leather gloves, and a auto darkening helmet. Uh, weld splatter obviously is really hot. It's molten steel, so you don't want that hitting your bare skin. Uh, additionally, the UV from welding is damaging to your eyes and also your skin. People that do welding for a career can get uh, basically like a sunburn on their arms from the UV coming off the weld guns. Uh, probably not all that likely for the amount of welding we're doing today, but something to consider nonetheless. So can you turn the gun back on? Yep. Oh, ah, thanks. Eyes. Eyes. Grab another one of these guys. Thank you much. Eyes. Eyes. Perfect, time for the next one. Eyes. Eyes. Well, that was an ugly weld down the vertical there. I'm gonna touch that up real quick. Eyes. Good enough. Eyes.
pulling a Katie here. What? A little piece of wire. <laughs> Eyes. Alrighty, now we're ready to put the two halves together. Nozzle gel. This keeps blood splatter from getting all over the the thing. Ah. It smells like crayons. <laughs> Sweet. Now we're gonna be going hot in a second after I trim this. Eyes. It's so pretty. We measured it to the other one. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yay. Sweet. All right. So we're going to be tack welding this uh, steel mesh into the frame just so that it doesn't fall out and also so that it doesn't wiggle around and make a bunch of noise. Eyes. Bum -ba -da -da. I don't think she's moving. She's not moving. You can do the rest of them. You wanna do okay. the rest of them? Yeah. Okay. I would do the opposite side first. Okay. Because it'll probably want to pull. So Ooh. what I was doing is just get like that. It's really hot. Why did I do that? <laughs> get, you know, rest it and then just do like a um like three or four little small circles. Oh, okay, so circles instead of zigzag now. Yeah, because we're just I figured out on these first five that if you hit the the cross part, it's a lot better. So if you okay. go down that edge, if you go over here and hit those guys, okay, and just get right in there, that's probably and then just each one where it's at. Okay. So you said for hand position, just like that. Yeah. 
I was just rocking it like on the inside, like on the web of my thumb. Yeah. Right. Okay. And that's a good distance. Huh? And that's a good distance. Yeah, you can get right on. I mean, it doesn't matter okay. too much. Ice. How's that first one? It's bearable. I'd do a little, make it a little beefier. Okay. Eyes. Is that better? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Eyes. I don't think this is, <laughs> I think that's probably bad. <laughs> no, it's not too bad. I won't worry about it. Okay. If you catch these parts on the inside right there, that might be a good spot to. Oh, okay. Up. So instead of doing, okay. Yeah, well mine had the just the tails. Right, okay. Oh. So we got the bottom welded onto our table. Uh, we put a lacrosse brace on it, and now we're gonna be doing just the final welds on the top part of the frame here. Uh, so I'll do a couple and then we'll hand it over to Katie and she can, she can finish them up. Eyes. So that's all we're gonna be working on today. Uh, we've got some finish work, paint, that kind of thing to do before we call it done. We gotta mount up the casters, uh, but like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and uh, we'll catch you next time.